Hello everyone, Dokior here, and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. When we last left off, Conan had captured Basculo and kept her contained in a sad tiny little prison cell after accidentally cutting out her eye and breaking her nose. However, she is a masochist, which means that if we take a look at her needs, being in pain actually gives her a mood buff. Another reason why I desperately want this character. When most characters are in pain, that is a debuff that you have to deal with, but not so with Basculo. So we are going to somehow, by hook or by crook, find a way of recruiting Basculo. That's why we have her in this prison cell. We were also joined by Hamster, a 71-year-old paralytic who fell from the sky, and who can help us by being another colonist, who's very good at melee combat, and has some... Quite a few passions, actually, especially in artistic and mining. We are definitely going to be taking advantage of that. So, in the last episode, Hamster actually had some magical fast recovery, and we actually have her as a working colonist now, which is excellent. So, I was thinking about changing her name into something else from Hamster. And so, I was thinking about this, and I figured I would name her Donna, after the Doctor Who companion. Now, there's pretty much no reason for doing this other than Donna was eh, one of the only older companions I could think of from Doctor Who. I suppose there could have also been Jackie, but I like Donna better. So that's what we're going to go for. And she's also very good at melee and is also a brawler. So I'm thinking we have her at down as our sword fighter. After all, we have renamed our colony to the Raiders of the Lost Tribe, and we are going to continue Conan's goal of inflicting revenge upon those that destroyed his tribe and all of his friends. Oh, we also had a couple of cows join the colony. Not sure what we're going to do with those yet. We might use them as Conan to try to increase his animal skill. I suppose that's one more important thing, is that Donna has a decent animal skill and a minor interest in them. However, because she is a vengeful hunter, she is incapable of handling animals. So that is uh, rather disappointing. I'm going to harvest some of these berries because I do want to at least, if nothing else, grind Conan's animal level so that we could recruit Basquo. Let's get some time going, actually. The issue with this is he's a zero with animals. So that's going to take forever. Hopefully we can find another colonist in that time. But if not, well, that's the only choice we have. All right, the other thing that we have to do is get Donna her own bedroom. Yep, major break risk on Donna. What's going on here? Ooh, that does not look good. Hates her bedroom, slept on the ground. Darkness. Ugh. Well, hopefully we don't wind up having to deal with a, a mood break. I'm not sure there's much we can do about it right now, but let's get her her own bedroom. Build a copy of this campfire closer to the butchering table. Actually, let's put it outside, since it's actually pretty warm here, and we have the Slept in the Heat debuff as it is. Uh, Conan should get to work on that at some point. And we should also increase Basculo's uh, cell, so that she has more space to walk around, but we won't be dealing with that right away. Now, we've got plenty of limestone just because of all of these abandoned buildings, and I did not realize this right away, but our walls are actually made out of steel. And steel is a resource that we could really use a lot of right now. So we also need to build a stove and a research station as soon as we can. So we've been using a lot of the steel that we've deconstructed, and we still really don't have enough of it to do anything with. However, we might be able to get some research going. Ah, we need some wood, but that only takes 25 steel. We can actually put this here in Conan's bedroom, I think. We're going to need that at some point. That might even make his bedroom look a bit better for, for him when he sleeps. I cannot help but feel really sorry for what we did to Basco. Oh, one more thing. I have also installed the Camera Plus mod. Now, I've intended this to be a vanilla series without any mods or anything to even so much as quality of life mod change the gameplay, but this is the one that I have decided to make an exception with. All right, we've got that built. Conan is going to get some more wood, it looks like. And I think we should chop down some more trees while I'm thinking of that. Anyway, as I was saying, I have gotten the uh, 
Camera Plus mod just primarily for taking screenshots, I suppose, but also it does make it easier to uh, zoom around, look at your characters and that. It just means you can zoom out a little bit and farther and zoom in a bit farther than what you could do in Vanilla Room World. That is the only mod I intend on adding in this series. Baskimo has passed out on the floor on top of her food. I feel so sorry for her. Let's get some wooden floors in there. While we're at it, I think we should replace some of these steel walls with some limestone. Just so that we can get the steel out of them. Ah, we finally got a research bench. So, let's see what we should research first. Alright, so we already have access to tree sewing, recurve bow, psychoid brewing, passive cooler, and pemmican. This stuff is going to be extremely helpful. So I think one of the first things that we should get onto is complex furniture. This opens up a lot of stuff that we can build. And I think that's definitely going to come in handy, particularly beds, which is something that we don't have. We're going to research that right now. And somebody might or might not get on it. We've only got two colonists. Okay, the other thing is we don't really have a lot of food, so I'm going to send Conan to go out and hunt some some more animals for us. Let's see what's nearby. We have these deer. They look huntable. So as soon as Conan is done with that, he ought to be able to pick up on hunting. There he goes. And that should help his shooting skills. Donna, what are you up to? Eating a simple meal. Let's get a bill on this. Yeah, we'll stick with stockpile since that's outside. Not the best cooking environment. We'll have to get a good kitchen going as well and expand our shelter. But I, and expand our shelter, but I want to get uh, these bedrooms done first. Conan is going to go on a bit of a hunting spree. This will help, of course, improve his shooting skills. Plus, we really need the uh, food, so we're going to hunt this as well. And we're probably going to tame that donkey because we need uh, handling skills as well. Ah, Conan has got it. Alright, we have finally got some more food. Is this our stockpile zone for the butchering table? Okay. I was thinking maybe we should move this outside. Just to have not any have any dead animals inside the uh, the area. Let's paste those settings on there. Delete that. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Conan. <laughs> That's what's going to happen when you do that. Okay. Donna is having a major break risk again. When Conan's hunted that second buck, we will slaughter it and get some more meals going. Oh, we have had a mad raccoon hop into the area. Well, out of all the things that could have happened. Alright, so it's probably going to run towards Donna there. Oh, Conan's on his way back. Might not be so bad. Uh, Conan, let's get you to Butcher. I'm not really worried about a single raccoon. Okay, Donna. Yeah, go ahead and harvest that. And we're gonna draft you. Put you back there. And there you go, one hit kill. And she's got a couple of scratches. Nothing terrible. Okay. Go ahead and rest up. And we have got some more meat. And 48 plain leather. Is that enough for a bedroll at least? Yes, it is. Alright, let's do it this way. That should definitely help with everybody's mood to get us some bed rolls. Or, if I rebuild that crafting spot. How much does it take to make 60 ingredients for tribal wear? I almost wonder if that's not the better choice. And yeah, we're just going to have to kill a lot more stuff. That's the long and the short of it. And Conan, when you are done with that, you should cook. Mm. 
that is probably enough for now anyway. When you're done with that, how about we don't keep ourselves in the dark? Okay, Donna is going to be handling most of our plant cutting and growing right now. That way Conan can focus more on construction and research, maybe even getting his handling skill going. But for now we have food, we have means of hunting, and we can always slaughter our cows if we have to. We'll get some more berries harvested, and we'll see how things go from here. So Donna is getting right on that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought I had her set to no drugs. That is our last joint. <laughs> Chemical interest. She is just, she's going to go for that. We're going to save that for... When something terrible happens, then we absolutely need it. I think that's the last one we have. Meanwhile, Conan is relaxing socially around a dead fire. Let's get rid of that. This is kind of interesting the way Wormwood does it, but I think floors actually get prioritized over other types of construction. Maybe not against walls, but against like deconstructing things and that. For some reason, floors have a priority. I never figured out why, but that's why Conan's doing floors right now instead of anything else. Now he's going around deconstructing things. Okay. We're going to deconstruct the steel and some of these wooden walls. Slowly, and then build limestone in their place. Where is he going? Okay, he's going to deconstruct that first. Also, since we have steel, I think we should get some steel spike traps going because those are much better than the wooden ones that we have now. Let's place at least one of those out there. How are these bedrooms looking? Awful. Awful. Well, that's not good. Alright, so I've done some planning and I figured we could turn this area down here into a kind of a butcher room and a kitchen with some food area for food storage. That is, of course, if we clear out this giant area of steel. So Conan is now getting down to doing a lot of our construction projects, which is great. And let's have him deconstruct some more of these walls that are right here in the area. Get those resources and then replace them with limestone. What is his building level at now? Seven. He's getting up there. Right, and for now, I think we can get a stove put in here as well. We'll just put it right there, and we can always move it later. Bam! That gets rid of the need for the campfire. We just cook simple meals, and we will do that forever. We can refine that later, once we get more stuff. And Donna, if you're going to be relaxing outside that campfire, the least you could do is refuel up. It's also pretty warm in here, so I'm wondering if we shouldn't build some passive coolers inside of the bedrooms just to... Ah, oh, it takes a lot of wood. Something to think about anyway. Conan, put that into a stockpile zone. Oh, this is plain leather. Well, that explains a lot. Let's try a plain leather bedroll. Conan just might get around to doing that. Uh, let's butcher. And then cook at the stove. 
No more living like savages and cooking over an open fire. Maybe we should also get another stool, since we've got a couple colonists here now. And before you go to bed, Conan, how about you make yourself a bedroll? Let's deconstruct that. And now we can go in there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Donna has had a mental breakdown and is going to vent her anger on one of your animals. Well, that does not look good. Um. Hmm. These cows are in danger. Don't want to lose them if I can help it. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to make a new area. Okay. We're going to put that into Donna's bedroom, and then we're going to try to stop her from entering there. Where are our cows? That should get him inside, and I'm gonna let Conan sleep until Donna gets uh, too close. I'm gonna forbid that, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Actually, I wonder what would happen if we were just to, say, build a simple wall in front of her door and wall them in. Let's have Conan do that. Let's see what happens. Because I don't... Worst case scenario, we'll just have to beat her down, but if that can be avoided... Okay. Let's see what that does. So she stopped. I think. Yep. Donna is no longer slaughtering random animals. Yes! That actually worked. And we get a catharsis from that, although... Jeez, that's terrible. Alright, uh, we can deconstruct that now. When she's done eating, we'll have Donna do that and get these animals out of her room. Okay, I'd say that was a success. Okay, these cows can go back to where they belong. Okay. All is well that ends well. I'm going to hunt these two alpacas. Oh, it's a gazelle, actually. Let's hunt the gazelle. Let's tame one of the alpacas once we get high enough level. Alpacas are a nice thing to have, I think. They're both female. Yeah, so we'll just tame one. Oh, there's a doe. We'll just hunt some, uh, some nice random animals. We've also got another growing zone. We're just going to grow some potatoes in it for now. And put some cotton in another one. The cow is sleeping in the corpse pit. Speaking of which, we are going to move that out of the way. Probably over here. We're also going to throw a table in there for Baskalo. Because I feel sorry for what we did to her. Conan is going out hunting. And Donna is going to sleep off. Is going to sleep dreaming of slaughtering animals. Going to harvest a lot more of these berries though, and I saw some hill root. Looks pretty good to harvest, so we're, we're going to have Donna get on that. Deconstruct the rest of this. Okay, we have an Eclipse, which doesn't really affect us right now because we don't have any solar pow power. It's just going to be dark for a while. Oh, and we have our first quest. Laura and another desperate res refugee are approaching. They claim to have lost their home in a recent attack. That sounds familiar. Laura begs you for permission to stay at River of Dreams for 16 days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to fight and free fight for free during that time. If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. They may also reward you later for helping them, but there is no way to know their true intentions. These refugees are not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, harvest, or harvest them without diplomatic consequence. Okay, so this expires in four days. And that is interesting. Yeah, we can uh, sympathize with these guys. Conan's been through the same thing. However, if we do get some people to stay with us here, we don't exactly have any nice living quarters. 
that they could stay in. So there is that we have to consider, but we've got five days to get ready for it. So we will deal with that when the time comes. Oh, look! A wild man has wandered in. He's called Chunos. Well, one wild person wasn't enough, so now we've got another. Yep, this person we don't care about. They cannot fight. I mean, they're a hard worker and nimble, which is good, but... They're really not that great of a character, so we're just gonna let them... Let them be. That's not one that we're gonna poke their eye out and arrest. Okay, so there is an eclipse and a solar flare. Again, doesn't matter to us. But Donna is harvesting rice, which is great to get some of that in. And when all this planting gets done, we will prioritize mining so we can get this area built. Not very concerned about having another room right now, which is why I've set it up that way. And now we have... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Where are you going, Conan? Finish that. We could capture a Mega Sloth. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, we could have captured a Mega Sloth in the bedroom. That would have been funny. So anyway, let's get us some more leather. And I think we'll be able to get another one of these for Donna now. And that should help with some new mood debuffs. Oh, we made it to this. So this is another quest. A friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. So, when Conan was a kid staying at the tribe, there is a piece of a spacecraft that slammed into the ground that all of his other tribe was run away from. Being a kid, he was curious about it, so he walked up to it and he found some wooden piece of computer components in there, which was this tiny little AI. And it was like a little cyber mat from the Doctor Who episode Nightmare and Silver. And it kind of crawled around him and went through his ear and went up into his brain. And so ever since then, he's had this tiny little computer thing inside of his brain that'll speak to him every now and then. So what this thing has done is it is now telling Conan that it has detected a starship that is hidden on the planet. And it has given us its coordinates. So the starship is in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive. Then defend it from raiders to try to steal it until the startup sequence completes. It will be a long, difficult series of battles. If you can get off, get the ship off the ground, Charlton Whitstone will take you off this room road to the stars. So this is a means of getting off the planet. This AI in Conan's head is finally making itself worthwhile because before it would just distract him when he was trying to fight in battles or do some stuff. And he'd yell at it and people would think he was talking to himself and that he was crazy. So yeah, this landed ship, if we can activate this, is a way off the planet. It's one of the quests built into the game. And so it is all the way down here, and our colony is located all the way up here. So we would have to travel pretty much all the way across the world in order to get to that ship. Well, that's always there as a possibility, and we will think about it, but our current goal is to get a colony going, recruit some people, survive, and get our revenge in that order. Alright, Conan is getting that bed built, I think. Wait, where is he going? No clue what he's doing now. There we go. Okay, throw down another zone just to put our food in. And we are going to remove that from this one. Set that to preferred. Okay. Just have a place to put all this rice when it's done. Being harvested. We have also built a hoop stone ring just so that they have another source of recreation. Conan's done with that. He can finish these walls. Ah, missed him. Come on. Let's make sure Donna doesn't have to sleep outside, Conan. That's a nice way to sleep, just with uh, somebody building a wall right on top of you. Today we are setting Conan's handling skill to a bit of a higher level. Oh, wait a minute. Forced weather for pay. Machine persona in an orbiting ship. Speaking to Conan again through that thing that crawled into his brain. Wants to perform some planetary experiments. However, if she carries out her experiments, the weather control system will force the weather on River Dreams to be fog for 13 days. 
she is trained about getting in trouble with the ethical review board and is asking for your she's concerned about getting in trouble with the ethical review board and is cons asking for your consent so we've got some very interesting um items a great masterwork great bow uh, advanced component and silvers we, we don't really care about that but then we have this side trainer for burden so this would become one of allow one of our colonists to become a side caster that's something that is actually worth considering in my opinion however we might have some other other means of obtaining that so i'm not entirely sure fog how much would that hurt us right now in fact if we get raided by people with superior weapons it would probably do them more harm than us and it might be an advantage. So I might just consider doing that quest, but again, we have five days to think about it. Now this quest expires in two days, and that I'm still thinking it over. I honestly don't think we have, we can very, take, we can hardly take care of ourselves, taking care of a couple more colonists. Then again, it might be useful to have them, just to improve this place a little bit faster. So I think we might actually take, take up that quest pretty soon. Okay, so Conan is now on animals, which is why he is milking a cow. With luck, this will give him some experience. Even though it takes him forever. Product wasted. He was that bad. That's not surprising. Well, he's got one more chance. I think we... Wow, he actually did it. He milked the cow without, you know, spilling everything. Okay, now he is hauling, and he is going to tame a donkey. This probably will fail horrendously, but again, it does give Conan some experience. You're kidding me. He has a zero on animals, and he trained a donkey. That's amazing. <laughs> How did he do that? And he still has a zero on animals. Oh, oh that's not good. Flash storm pretty close. We should be okay. I think we live. Ooh. I think. Yeah, but that is one more animal now for us to train. Uh, they can haul. Alright, so we're gonna have Conan train that animal. That should help Conan in his animal skills. Eventually he can work his way up to training on people, so we can recruit Basquiat. We lost our, our, our food. That, that's terrible. Oh well. Well, I just hunt more. I'll queue that up. Flash storm is over. Nothing really to worry about. Just some fires. I'm sure they'll put themselves out. And Conan is now into plants. I would rather, Conan, you hold this rice before it goes bad. Look at that bird. Wow. I'm really glad we harvested some of these trees. Speaking of which, I think we've got some wood that we should rescue before it burns up. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Donna, hurry up, Donna. Hurry. Okay. And with lack of anything better to hunt, we're just going to grab all of these guinea pigs. training that donkey and he failed but he's still not at a level one this is gonna take forever this might not be worth it oh. oh of course of course of course she did yes um we're just gonna let her do that it's our last one what good is it gonna do us she's just gonna go ahead and well actually I'll bet can we can we uh, equip this can we is there a way to actually take it? Hang on to it. Uh, I don't want to figure it out. You know what? It's not important. She can go ahead and do it. it we've only got the one. Oh, <laughs> she's just shooting right past her. He's trying to get that guinea pig. And Donna is now... Stone Knight Smoke Leaf. <laughs> We're just going to let her lay there for a while. That's what she gets. She had medicine on her? What? Where did that come from? He fed her... Ugh, Conan. 
Just cook. This colony is a mess. Royal Tribute Collector from Grogan Imperium is approaching. You'll accept any prisoners and gold you offer as tribute. The ones who gives over the tribute will receive honor for fulfilling the tradition and supporting the upper houses. You can expect a tribute collector to arrive approximately twice a year as long as you're not enemies of the Broken Imperium. You know, I hear about your colony sometime before leaving, you get attacked and you surrender their faction. Oh ho ho. Conan is steaming right now. Because as you can guess, he desperately wants to kill all of these guys because they're responsible for the death of his family and friends. But if he attacks them now with a bow and a stoned <laughs> companion with Nikwa, well, things will not end well for him. And once again, he must control himself. Oh. Ooh, chunks of the base spacecraft. That is good. And one more thing, this quest is about to expire. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. But if we get two more colonists, we may be able to just be able to work. Get a, f a few more things done faster. So what I'm going to do is place down a couple of sleeping spots in Donna's bedroom. And hopefully we can get a lot more accomplished with a couple of extra colonists staying with us for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and accept that quest because we've literally got nothing to lose for it. Okay. So they will stay with you for 16 days so they can rest and group. Alright. Let's see what we got. So we have Laura and Mundy. What are you guys good at? One with animals and a two with animals, so we cannot recruit Basculo. That sucks. But artistic, melee, artistic, pyromaniac, misandrist, uh, slowpoke, jealous, not the best uh, characters, but again, can any of them do construction? You can do crafting. You can do construction. Okay, we'll, we'll figure something out. And we'll make that happen into the next episode. Ooh! Ancient danger has been found. We'll deal with that sometime in the future as well. Wow. That fire is just burning everything. There used to be uh, something where the rain would turn on. There'd be too much fire. That does not seem to be happening. Randy just wants to let us burn. Alright, fine. That's why I replaced all the walls with limestone. Is Conan even at a 1 on animals yet? Nope. Anyway, guys, this is uh, this has been Worm World. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see how this quest plays out in the future and in the next episode. So our colony is progressing by very slowly. Hopefully, with two extra colonists for a little while, that will give us a little more uh, of a chance to work on a few things, get some stuff done. Yeah, and we will get all that sorted out into the next episode. So thank you, as always, guys, for watching. And I just, I play RimWorld because I, I really enjoy it. Let's get down there to get that back. I just really enjoy playing this game. So not a lot of people watch it, but uh, it is as it is. Probably make just a few more episodes at the very least. So I'll see you guys all in the next video, and goodbye for now, everybody.